This is a rededication of the cornerstone laying of the original lodge building that was built and dedicated 100 years ago in December. Masonry has evolved in um, like 1717 in England. At the beginning of our country, our patriots uh, were Masons. They brought the Masonry over with them. We trace it back to the stonemason guilds of the, of the Middle Ages, but no one really knows how far back it goes. We are an organization that uh, believes in the, father, the brotherhood of man under the fatherhood of God. The cardinal t virtues of our belief are temperance, fortitude, prudence, and justice. The golden tenets of our institution are brotherly love, relief, and truth. Uh, we believe in faith, hope, and charity. A charity is the greatest of all of these. We are an organization with a few secrets. We are not a secret organization. Uh, many organizations are have secrets, and um, but it's based upon the building of King Solomon's Temple. All the lessons come out of the Bible. Um, we we believe in a supreme being. We don't profess faith in any certain certain God. Um, we have members who are of the Muslim faith. Uh, we have Jewish members, whatever faith, it's just a uh, qualification, you have to believe in a supreme being. We operate under the, with the tools of the uh, operative mason, the 24 inch gauge, common gavel, plumb square level, and the, and the trowel. Uh, we put them to building a perfect character, uh, spiritual char uh, character. So uh, it's a self-improvement, takes good men and makes them better. We do not discuss politics in here. Every man that comes in from the highest statured person in, in the community to the, to the lowest uh, labor comes in and we all meet on the level in this. We all have equal standing. We're all brothers. A lot of community events, a lot of outreach. We have different branches of the Masons. We support uh, eye surgeries with the York Rite Masons. This lodge here, we give scholarships every year to individuals. Uh, we have uh, 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 monies that goes to the end of the community every year that, that's donated. The master gets to choose what he would like to use this money for to represent the lodge in the community. We do these public ceremonies. Uh, my job is to govern over the, the local lodges. We are a grassroots organization. The local lodges make up the, the Grand Lodge. Uh, I am elected by the, by the craft of Iowa. It's just kind of an oversight uh, office. Um, yeah, I do have power. I do not have power of edict. But um, I have to keep order within the, within the ranks, you know, kind of like that. But uh, basically it's just to lead, um, develop a program for uh, membership uh, recruitment and retention and uh, um, to promote masonry. That's basically what it is. We started out with, uh, with the elements, the corn, wine, and oil. Uh, they are elements of Mother Nature uh, that we use to consecrate uh, the lodge. We support the public school system. We believe in education, education of the masses. That's why the school books were placed on, upon the lodge. Um, we believe in patriotism. That's why they lecture to the flag. You know, we, we look back at uh, the beginning of, Mason, of uh, this country and the uh, beginning of masonry in, in the United States. Were they patriots because they were masons or were they masons because they were patriots? Forebearers of this country, uh, founders of this country were masons. You know, uh, Paul Revere, George Washington, Ben Franklin. Um, we've had a lot of um, Harry Truman. We've had like seven presidents, so several astronauts. Uh, nobody wants to join because somebody else was a member, but um, we, we have all classes of individuals uh, who've, who've been members and have been fine members of Masonry. It's, it's a self-improvement, self building of a perfect character of your own. Um, masonry means something different to every, everybody, but um, that's the basis of it, is to self-improvement. If somebody's interested in joining, we have a, what we call a petition process. You ask, uh, the individual should go to find a mason and ask him that you, if he, he'd be interested in joining. He will, he will hand you a petition, fill it out. Uh, it just asks your name, you know, uh, your family, uh, what your occupation is, so do you believe in a supreme being. We do ask you if you uh, would subject yourself to a, uh, a background check. Uh, uh, legally. Uh, we use Iowa Courts online. Uh, 
with the mobile society that we have today, you never know who is coming, um, who's going to be knocking at our door. It's more or less to eliminating problems down the line. We don't, we don't allow felons. Unless they've paid their debt society, then there's a process they can go through to come back in. You know, you fill out a petition. That petition is read and lodged at a stated meeting. The next month, it's voted on, and then you you go through three degrees. You go through an entered apprentice degree, a fellow craft degree, and a master mason degree, and then you are um, a brother of the, of the fraternity. Uh, there's a pendant bodies, the York Rite and the Scottish Rite, the Shrine. Um, Eastern Star, there are other bodies that, um, there's a whole bunch of uh, offshoots that relate off of, off of uh, Blue Lodge Masonry, that's uh, what, what this actually is. We are not a secret organization. Everything we have, everything we do is, we'll talk about. It, it's kind of a different stigma than what used to be. Uh, like I said earlier um, to the group that we are, a, we are not a secret organization but we are an organization who has some secrets. But every organization has some secrets, some passes, some grips, some, some uh, handshakes and, and uh, signs and stuff. They don't mean anything other than something to us, but uh, it's just so that we, so, something we have in common with each other and uh, the rest of the masses don't have. A very memorable day.